it's me Lisa and I have a video collab for you guys um, a little late on this by the time I get it up and going it will be in April a little behind on stuff <laughs> but um this is a sailor moon collab with one month one sailor moon and each month is a different colors for the sailor moon collab which I used to watch when I was younger, I used to watch Sailor Moon, but it's been a long time. I did like it, though. Um, but each month you can do, there's a panning. Some people do the panning. Some people do um, nails. Some people do makeup looks. They do different creative things each month. I'm going to probably do a look for each one. And, yeah. And I'll have everybody linked down below who's already doing this. I'm just a little behind on the aim, like always. But uh, for March, they have Sailor Moon. It's pink and white. And then for April is Sailor Mercury, which is white, blue, and silver. May is Sil Sailor Mars, red, yellow, and orange. June is Sailor Jupiter, green and brown. July is Sailor Venus, yellow, orange, and red. August is Sailor Chibai Moon. I think I said that wrong. Oh, well. Pink, white, and hot pink. And September is Sailor Uranus, yellow and gold. October is Sailor Neptune, turquoise, sea foam green. November is Sailor Saturn, black and purple. December is Sailor Pluto, hunter green and black. And then there's bonus categories, which I... I think you can do throughout the whole year depends on when you want to do it uh, tuxedo mask is white black and red and then there's Luna Artemis and Diana which is white black and gray but I'm gonna try to do looks with all this um, I don't think I can do any panning right now because I'll probably end up forgetting the items because I'm already doing two pannings and yeah I'm working on those already but Okay, let's jump in. March is for Sailor Moon. It's pink and white. So I got colors, pink and white colors. I haven't done my foundation or primer. My primer that I'm using is Too Faced Hangover, which I like. I like this primer, but I think I need a like a silicone primer for my skin. I don't know yet. I liked this one before. I like the smell of it. But, I don't know. Something. Maybe I just need something else. And then, um, the foundation I'll be using. Oh my. I had to go out and buy a new foundation. I'm on a no buy. Which I bought no polish. Oops. But, um, I'm on a no buy. But I had to go buy a new foundation. Because all my foundations are turning orange on me for some reason. And they were fine a few months ago. I'll do a video on my foundations we'll see um, if I get a chance or remember to do that um, show you guys my foundations and I'll take a picture of each one how they look in the sunlight so you guys can see because when I first got it, it they were fine and now they're orange too dark for my skin and I got them in winter which my skin's the palest so I don't understand anyways different video I am using wet and wild this is in soft ivory. This one fits better for me. So, yeah. The sealer I am using is this one. It's a color corrector, but I am using it as a concealer. I don't like these um, sponge ones very much. Um, you keep having to flip it, which is annoying for me. I doing that and then my fingers get extra dirty and I don't want to use this thing it comes with a little thing but it really doesn't pick up product so it's like a sponge on top of sponge and then use it it just kind of defeats the purpose in my opinion
I got some foundation on. I'm going to add some powder. I'm trying to pan this sucker. Almost done. I have repressed it once. So, it's almost done. You can see it. There's only a little bit left. And then I'll move on to the next one I have. this from my two face palette that I'm panning <clears throat> like a shimmery white I'm gonna use that on my up there shade I'm going to use no. this one right here I can make it the I'm using this pink the highlighting pink shimmer from cover FX from boxycharm I've only used it once I'm gonna take this other white and go over it on top <laughs> Oh, I didn't say it. This is in Amethyst. this lighter pink which doesn't really show that's why I'm not using it I'm going to use that put go in it with the crease I'm going to go in with bottom with that pink.
this recording, but I finished up. I used, I went ahead and used um, my liquid eyeliner on the bottom, which normally I don't use. I use the pencil, but um, I did that. I used this mascara, um, Ampla, Ampla Mascara, whatever it's called. This one, uh, not the greatest mascara. It really, really isn't. And then, um, let's see. I used this blush, J. Manuel Beauty. It's a really bright pink. <clears throat> so, I had to go back over it with some uh, powdered foundation and a bronzer because it, a little bit goes a long way. It really does. And, yeah, I used too much and had to go over it with something else and then I used this highlighter I was trying to find my white one but I couldn't find my white one so I went ahead and used this one and I used this color from the Naked Cosmetics palette the Hylograph Hylographic Hylograph I swear I can't talk um went and used that I was gonna use this one but I figured this one will probably work better and this is more of, I was gonna use this because it looks kind of white but it's not it's gold and I wanted more of white I am um, highlighter but I went ahead and used pink and then I went in with this pinkish lip gloss by Maybelline it's called is there a name for it yeah blush bashful petal it's not too dark it's light so I figured this might go with the look, with the pinkish look. But yeah, this is my Sailor Moon look. Maybe I should put my hair down so it looks a little bit reasonable. Um, I figured the, this pink would be more better. But some people probably use brighter pink, I don't know. But this is what I did, what do you guys think? I will take a picture in lighting. So you guys can see it all. But yeah, it's not too bad. I don't think it's too bad. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.